I was volunteering elsewhere with other uh, NGOs, with other uh, labor labor groups, labor colonies, where somebody suggested that because there's a requirement here in Jharsa, I should come and start a school here. So I did a preliminary survey here, wherein when prima facie everybody is literate, all children are going to school. But if you scratch the surface, you will see that it's just uh, uh, just surface literacy. It's a humanitarian crisis for children not to be studying. Uh, when I went to those colonies, the children were standing in neck deep, this much of muck they were just starting, uh, st standing in, and half clothed, barefoot, total, dis totally disheveled, no food, no sustenance, nothing. We started with, our, with about 45. And within eight months of starting the school, I had 260 children. So that would give you an idea about the demand. Demand for quality education. Earlier it was totally free. Then I realized that it being free, people did not value it. So we were repeating the same thing as vowels. Constantly we were doing the same thing. And those who were good also were suffering on account of that. Then I have introduced a 100 rupee fees. But it is just for them to have a stake and to value the education that they get. These children come from a very negative background. But they have so much of creativity. And to offset that very negative background, a holistic environment is very important. So I try to join uh, a lot of extracurricular activities because those are the things that they do not get in government schools. In these three years, I see how much of confidence they have gained. Within two months of their coming here, their joining here, their entire demeanor changes. Peace.